everyone, it's Julie. Um, today I want to do just a pretty simple little craft. Um, my daughter-in-law is obsessed with the Grinch, so I'm going to go ahead and make her a Grinch decoration. And I'm just going to use some pallet wood. It's going to be about 20 inches long and around 11 and a half to 12 inches wide. Um, and uh, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go ahead and trim these boards off to the lengths that I need and um, get them nailed together. Okay, I just uh, cleaned up the end of the board and now I'm going to measure out about 20 inches. That's going to be the overall length of the, the whole thing. So. of them 20 inches long so it's not a big project it doesn't take a whole lot of a whole lot of wood and it's all just straight cuts so nothing fancy okay I've got my boards cut for the uh, Grinch project I'm just gonna they're 20 inches um, long and these ones equaled out to about 12 inches wide, but you can make it however long and wide you want to. But I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple boards on the back just to help hold them together. So, I'm just going to put a little bit of liquid nail and you got five eighths in there. Yeah. That's just going to hold our boards together and then I have this board here cut and this is going to be for the brim of the hat. I just measured down about five inches and I'll start my hat um, brim right there and I left it a couple inches longer on each side. So I'm going to go ahead and get that glued on. Well no, no I'm not. I've got to sand first. <laughs> I must forgot about sanding. It's easier to sand before you get it all put together. Okay, I have everything all sanded and I'm getting ready to nail the brim of the hat on. I brought it down about five inches. I already put some liquid nail on it, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a few nails in it just to help hold it together. And that's pretty much it as far as building the craft itself the rest of it's pretty much just painting so it's pretty simple it's all just square cuts nothing hard 20 inches long about 12 inches wide then I left about a two inch overhang on the hat it's pretty much it okay I got my um, Grinch um, all ready to go I'm getting ready to paint it my Grinch sign here um, the brim of the hat is going to be white, this part is going to be red, and then the Grinch, this is going to be his face, and it's going to be green. So that's what I'm getting ready to do right now, is just start painting this. I'll probably do it a couple, paint it a couple of times, just to make sure it gets a nice coat on it. Okay, I got one coat of paint on everything. I'm just going to let that dry and then I'll do a second coat, see how it looks. I might need to do a third. I don't know yet, but we'll see. Okay, as you can see, I got um, my sign all painted. I went ahead and, um, you know, just freehanded Merry Chris Grinchmas on it and just added a little bit of, um, I have one of those little circle paint brushes and I just dabbed it in some paint. Just put a few circles on it to make a little look a little more festive and then I went ahead on the internet and I got a face I traced off of there and I'm going to go ahead and transfer it onto this and get it painted okay I went ahead and painted the face on um, I'm going to have to paint it again uh, one more time I still have to finish up the eyes but um, 
just wanted to show you that part of it. I'm, I figured you didn't want to see me actually painting, but um, like I said earlier, I uh, found a, pi a picture of the Grinch's face on the internet and I just put a piece of um, paper on top of it and traced it and then took an X-Acto knife and cut out the inside portion and then put it on here and traced it and then painted over it. So, but it's pretty simple to do if you need to do that. If you're not a good, good at drawing like me, I can't even draw a stick figure. So <laughs> that was the easiest way for me to do that. So I'll just have to paint over it one more time. Okay. I got my Grinch project all finished up. This was a pretty simple project to make. Like I said, I just went on the internet and got, um, a template of his face because I'm not very good at drawing and I just traced it and then cut it out and then traced it onto my board and painted it. I didn't figure you'd want to see the whole painting process. You, you know how to paint. <laughs> and then I just put a, a festive ribbon around the bottom and um, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.